A federal jury has rejected a man's argument. Now, this is a, a black manager of uh, Strive East Harlem. It's an employment agency. Now, what they rejected was his argument that the use of the N-word in a uh, tirade that he launched against a black female employee of his, he said that it was okay because it was between two black people. They're saying, no, even in that context, you can't use it. So his argument was that the word has multiple contexts in the black and Latino communities, sometimes indicating anger, but sometimes indicating love. Um, now, Brandy Johnson, this is the 38-year-old woman that back in March of 2012, he launched the, the tirade against. And ironically enough, he was attacking her because he felt she was being unprofessional in the workplace. Oh. Um, he dropped the N-bomb uh, uh, multiple times there. She says, I was offended, I was hurt, I felt degraded, I felt dis disrespected, I was embarrassed. And so he made the case that this is context and culturally dependent, and the federal jury is saying no, and they awarded her fairly massive damages, actually. How massive? Okay, so I I'm, uh, I I'm curious as to what you guys think here. First of all, they gave her $30,000 in compensatory, and then, uh, and then they gave her, I think, two hundred fifty. Quarter of a million. Yeah, $250,000 in punitive. Wow. I'm sorry, that was in... Uh, Thirty thousand was punitive for some reason. Two hundred fifty thousand was compensatory damages, yes. which is a lot of compensation. A lot of she was making yeah. a good living. Yes. Yeah, yes. apparently. Yes. So, which I'm going to get back to in a second. I, been, I think that's super relevant to the story. Uh, and we have a policy here at, at Young Turks to say the N word when we're quoting someone who said it, right? And Carmona, the the guy who was accused in this case, the one who made the argument, look, we sometimes you say it out of love. And he said, look, sometimes you say this is my nigga for thirty years. Right, meaning this is my boy, this is my friend, etc. So it depends on the context. And then they ask them, well, did you say it out of love to her? You mm -hmm. know, she seems to have cried 45 minutes in the bathroom, right? And and obviously you were berating her. And he said, I did, and that's what we do here. We do tough love, okay? And so it seems simple, right? You shouldn't use that word, especially when you're berating someone. It doesn't matter if you're black. That seems like that's what our gut says, right? But wait till you hear the rest of the case. Drop it. Coming. So this guy was addicted to heroin when he was younger and then he got off of it and he really improved himself, went to Columbia University and then he started this program to help people and most of the people that he helps are actually African American women. Okay. And most of the employees also African American women. Right. Yeah. Now, uh, oh. he, it's called Strive and it's been around for decades since the 1980s and it's helped all these people get jobs and to give them a second chance. Now he does use tough love and sometimes that'll cross, you know, tough love's a dangerous thing. That's usually when people say before they're going to be, you know, hit you, hit you with a broomstick, right? <laughs> so, so, and I don't know. It's an open case, right? Uh, and well, the, more. Well, no, exactly. yes, yeah. it's, it's closed. <laughs> right, and well, and look, and so on that, on that side of the case, the judge says, look, this behavior is illegal and cannot be tolerated. I don't care who you are, right? And so I like that argument. That's a good argument. On the other hand, what the jury didn't hear is that the woman suing. Uh, had a previous conviction for grand larceny that required her to pay about a hundred thousand dollars in restitution. Now, I don't know that that's relevant to this case, but look, he was trying to give her a second chance. Okay, so she was not yet a strive participant, and but she was there, and he was trying to straighten her out, etc. So now there's a little bit more details, but that's a lot. And I'm curious what you guys think. Well, ironically, he will be giving her a second chance through the massive amount of money that he will have to transfer to her. <laughs> yeah, I um. You know, I, I, when we talked about it ahead of time, uh, before the show, you know, you can't say that at work. Like the judge, the, the judge made that clear. It's not, it's not complicated. I'm, I'm very puzzled always by white people who don't quite, and this is not a white person. I got that, but who don't quite understand. Well, I hear black people. What am I? What's the rule? Don't use it. Yeah, that's right. the rule. Simple. There's it's pretty easy. Rule. It's a really easy rule. And you know, I wish black people didn't use it when talking to each other, but they didn't check with me. They don't have to. Mm -hmm. Right? Doesn't make oh, any sure? Right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that they, I didn't, they didn't have to clear anything with me. So, like, but I don't think that he, you should in a professional environment. That seems pretty basic to me. But when I hear anybody, can you put her quote up again about how she reacted to it? Because I think it, I was offended, don't care. I was hurt, don't care. Felt degraded, don't care. I felt disrespected, don't care. I was embarrassed, don't care. Life is hard, man. I don't care about any of those things. I care about whether he sort of uh, discriminated against her that made her advancement more difficult. If he did something in, you know, like if we, obviously we're not talking about sexual harassment, but if there's continued harassment that made it impossible for her to move up or achieve something at a job, you get born in America, you don't have a right not to be offended. 
that's tough break for you. The I, flip side, yeah, no, Ben, those are all compelling points. The flip side to that is, if if he was white and he said, "Look, I'm gonna get you a job, so I'm not holding you back or anything like that," but I think you're an N-word, okay, and I'm gonna say that over and over to you. My guess is that you probably right, vote but, against. But by the same token, going back to my first point, yeah, I would. And guess what? It's, here, get, got news for you, white people. The rules are different. Uh-huh. You can't, yeah, you can't say it. Really fast. Yeah. I think the idea that, look, I, I, as with you, my input really does not matter in terms no. of what black people say to each other. Or what white people say But I think the idea that there's yeah. no cultural or, or contextual difference between a white person saying it to a black person and a black person saying it to, to another black person in the modern day, I think that that's simply ridiculous. Yeah, now, this is a workplace, and the exact way that it was used, the other words that were surrounding it certainly matter. But there is a difference. Yeah, I agree. I think that that should be taken into account Jimmy? by the jury. Uh, uh, so I, let's go to our definitive word on, on African Americans, Jimmy Dore. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I, I, I don't know. At first, I was uh, with the woman, and then you yeah. read the second part. That was quite a twist there, Drew. It was a yeah, twist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. why I like the story. There's a yeah. total so twist. So I'm going to go with the. I'm against her. I'm with that guy. I'm with the Ben. Uh, you know, they used to, you know, when I first became, I used to work masonry, you know, and they would just hit you in the head with a level, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so were you embarrassed? I was, and, you know, I was hurt. It was, uh, My degraded. feelings, I felt degraded. Yeah. And so that's the, you know, that's, you know, go watch Glengarry Glen Ross, for fuck's sake. And uh, yeah. so, so, yeah, I mean, at first I was like, but that's the, isn't that the argument people make about sexual harassment? Is that I feel degraded and you're not allowed to do that to me. I, there's another usually that, that, that comes with advancement in your career and promotions, but if it doesn't involve that, isn't it the same thing? So I don't know, I'm with, uh, with Ben on this one. Yeah, okay. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm torn. He shouldn't say it. He should be like reprimanded. Yeah. And she should get, okay. she should get. Quarter a million dollars? Right, reprimanded. Dollars. Here's eight grand. You yeah. can, like, yeah. you can <laughs> you know, call me a lot of things yeah. if yeah. you gave me a quarter million dollars. You can do more than just call me things for a quarter yeah. million dollars. Yeah, yeah. there's a light spanking, that kind of stuff. All right, uh, <laughs> JR, curious what you think about this. Oh, well, actually, that's, that's one of the things I was thinking. Uh, yeah, as Ben was saying, the rules are different in most cases. But there is an aggressive way of calling someone a nigger when you're black and black. So th- th- I think that came into play here. So no matter what the workplace is, I, I, I think you can't do that here. I don't know about, you know, we can discuss the monetary uh, rewards that she was given for the pain and suffering, whatever it was. And yeah, I think she does get to be offended. She gets to be degraded, say she was degraded. She gets to say all those things. And so I think something can come to her. Now, this is why it's a problem when someone maybe had a past and now she's trying to get back on her feet or she's trying to get a job that she wasn't able to get before, whether you're black, white, Asian, whatever, you can't degrade someone because of the position they come from. That's why it sucks that you have something happen to you and then you're not able to get back into the workplace because anybody gets to treat you like shit because you're never going to be worth the same level of human being as everyone else. And this black guy who was running this, I'm not sure what the issue was or what the tough love was about, but you can have tough love without using these words. Now, again, it's context. There could be friends for, for years that say, oh, that's my nigga, and it's cool. But I don't care. There's sometimes fights that break out between black folks and they use the word. And you can tell when somebody's aggressively in your face trying to whoop your ass. And that's a problem. I don't know exactly what he was doing, but it sounded aggressive and a, a way out of line. So can I uh, let's see if I can find a consensus here? Uh, he, it's the workplace. We're going to go with the Ben rule. You can't use it in the workplace. doesn't matter what race you are. Uh, guilty, okay? Yeah. Uh, but, you know, it's not $250,000 worth of yeah. guilty. He's trying to help people in general. He did it the wrong way. That's why he's guilty, right? And to her, by the way, her, I'm not buying her in a lot of ways. She's, the second time around, she went and recorded this and then said she went to the bathroom and cried for 45 minutes. I mean, she's thinking, hey, look, I did grand larceny for 100000 Maybe this gets me more. And by the way, it did, okay? Maybe I'm the bad guy for pointing it out. I don't know. I don't want to embarrass her. It could cost myself $280,000. <laughs> okay, but he did the wrong thing. He shouldn't have used that word in the, in the work context. Forget the two fifty, thirty thousand, and we're done with it. Can I get agreement on that? I'll give you thirty thousand dollars. Okay, Jimmy. I'll give you thirty. John. I think the thirty is a lot of money. Okay, so you're I voting mean, no on that. I'm not going to give two years of my salary just you because how, you feel embarrassed. <laughs> okay. Two years of your salary. Do you know how important it is to, to have a? a we could, this court could have a consensus. For I, out loud. I know, and you're ruining the consensus, J.R. Jackson. Okay, thirty thousand. Okay, all right, we have consensus, J.R. Will you agree? Fifty, dude. Fifty. Oh, <laughs> right, no, no, it's okay. It's perfect. He'll call the thirty and raise us twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> no, no. It, see, look, John was under thirty. Jar was over thirty. We have a decision. Thirty thousand. It is sold. Okay. So, 
Uh, that's why the Supreme Court's here to adjudicate important matters like that. <laughs>